Hi everyone, today we'll be going over the Puel multiple and how you can use this tool to improve your Bitcoin investing and analysis. This chart, as well as many others, are all freely available on lookintobitcoin.com, your number one source for Bitcoin information. If you haven't already, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to ensure you're receiving all of our content as soon as it's released. So what is the Puel multiple? Simply put, it is the daily issuance of BTC denominated in US dollars divided by the 365 day or the yearly average of the daily issuance of BTC in US dollars. I know that sounds complicated and it was a mouthful to even say it, but all this is displaying is the current miner revenue or the miners that are securing the Bitcoin network compared to a historic average of their earnings. Every day we can calculate miner revenue depending on how much Bitcoin they earned and convert that based on the current price of Bitcoin into US dollars. So every 10 minutes, a new block is mined containing a multitude of transactions and miners who are securing the network not only receive a block reward for this, but as well as that, some transaction fees for securing the network. So every single day, every single block, we can calculate how much the miners have earned in revenue based on both the price of Bitcoin and the network usage. So after we've worked out this daily revenue for the miners, we can then work out the average revenue for the miners over a 365 day or a yearly period. And if we look to the chart, once we divide this daily revenue over the yearly average, we can see periods where miners are earning significantly more than the average. So if we look at the chart here, we can see a Puel multiple of around one at certain times. And this is saying that the miners are currently earning approximately what they have earned on average over the past year. However, when this number increases substantially, it shows that miners are earning a significant multiple more than they have on average. So at the 2017 peak here, we saw that we got a Puel multiple of 6.59. So on that day, miners earn in revenue about 6.59 times on average more than the previous year. So these peaks on the Puel multiple are great at detecting Bitcoin price peaks, as there's a strong correlation between minor revenue and the Bitcoin price. But the same can be said for the downside. As the Puel multiple decreases, we can get Puel multiples of as low as 0.31 here or 0.3. This indicates that miners are earning significantly less than they have in the previous year on average. So when the minor revenue has decreased substantially, historically, these have been gray areas to accumulate Bitcoin. And this can be identified by this red zone up here when the multiple is increased above about three and a half and down here when the multiple is decreased below about 0.5. If we actually look at the previous cycle for Bitcoin, we can see that we had the Puel multiple marked pretty much the exact top of Bitcoin as it topped out at near $20,000. And then as Bitcoin bottomed, again, we had a bottom in the Puel multiple and same after the COVID 2020 crash. And then as we rocketed up from about 5,000 to nearly 60, $70,000, the Puel multiple actually just about reached the zone, but not quite got into this red zone on the Puel multiple. And right now, as we're having some pretty bearish price action, we can see the multiple has recently actually dipped below into this buy zone and it is soon looking like it might do it again. So using this indicator in parallel with other look into Bitcoin indicators, we can use this as another frame of reference for minor revenue to help us base our decisions whether now is a good time to potentially be accumulating more Bitcoin during areas where historically that has been a very good time to do so, or potentially be taking profits on Bitcoin when again, historically that has been the best time to do so. So in summary, the Puel multiple looks at the current revenue of Bitcoin miners and compares that to a yearly average of miner revenue denominated in US dollars as opposed to in BTC. As miners earnings become significantly higher than the historical norm, the multiple increases and as miners earnings comparatively decrease, the multiple falls. Investors who acquired more Bitcoin around the green zone and began to offload as we approach the red zone have had exceptional returns. If you like this video, then please visit lookintobitcoin.com where we're trying to make Bitcoin data accessible to everyone. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to learn about all our other chats and gain even more insights into the Bitcoin network. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.